the chronic hyperarousal generated by chronic pain and resulting in hormonal depletion such as thyroid T3 results in depression with slowing of the alpha rhythm and excessive left hemisphere alpha dominance. This overall progressive cascade generates a stereotypical response to pain in the QEG. Initial stages are marked by alpha deficits from chronic neuronal alpha activation. Excessive hyperarousal attended by worry and rumination manifests as regional and global elevations of beta and high beta. Excessive muscle bracing contributes significantly to elevated high beta in the record as well. Beta asymmetry is also a hallmark of anxiety. Increased anxiety levels overactivate the reticular system, resulting in escalating sleep deficits. This reduces coping skills and amplifies the experience of pain. Insomnia by itself, even without the pain component, typically leads to a weakened immune system, increased sensitivity at all CNS levels of function, as well as amplified anxiety and consequently to depressive states. In the final analysis, a complex interpretive system manages pain perception. Pain is now recognized to be the result of a complex interaction of activity in multiple cortical and subcortical neural networks and processes. As we mentioned at the outset, the pain control circuit is defined by the following structures. The frontal lobes, including the anterior cingulate right ventral prefrontal cortex, the somatosensory cortex, the insula, the thalamic nuclei, the periaqueductal gray, the amygdala, and the spinal cord nerve fibers from the body. This sample of Loretta maps of a client suffering from chronic pain can be seen to mirror the location of the pain hubs, including the insula in the temporal regions, the anterior cingulate in the frontal region, and the parietal precuneus. These are typical map patterns that appear with chronic pain of many kinds. In a very real sense, the brain begins to grow and enhance the networks that process pain signals, and ongoing activation of pain-related central networks can lead to changes in these networks, consolidating and thus facilitating pain processing even independent of peripheral neural activation.